If you close your eyes, you can see better. If I'm a disrespect, you need three letters. My handsome man. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Um, join me in kind of across the grass here. Oh, it's been a while I've, um, since I've vlogged. It's been a minute. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna vlog this last part of the season. I'm just heading over to go get my ankle checked out. Had a little tweak last night. Felt so, so good whooping that ass yesterday. Yeah, because we felt kind of disrespected last time we played them at their place. They uh, want a madness. You know, we had to go do it. You wanna say hi? I was saying, yeah, anyway, so I'm just about to go get treatment. Da da da. It's the uh, final week of the regular season before we go into the playoffs. So, it's gonna take you through that, man. Enjoy. Right, let's see if uh, Is it just on the outside? Yeah. Walking's cool. Honestly, it's really not that bad. Like, mum was doing stuff with Kush yesterday. Yeah. It's really more like when he put pressure on it, like yeah, twisting yeah. it inwards and all that stuff. Um, like it, it was cool. Yeah. Like it's, it's not bad. Like I can walk on it. Can you walk upstairs? Yeah. That's absolutely fine. All of that's cool. Like I finished the game yesterday. There was no problem. It's pretty minimal. Yeah. It would probably just kill me if I rolled it again. That type of shit, you know. Yeah. That's fair. Walking is fine. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Yeah. I'll just do a few tests and then we can try. Doing some Going in there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's nice. Only this way. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah. Cool. But everything else is fine. Yeah. It's a little bit swollen, but it's not yeah, too it's, bad. It's, yeah. Was it quite big yesterday? No, it was about no? the same, really. Yeah, it was about the same. I think it was more the shock of when it happened than anything, really. Like, yeah. he just took my leg out completely, and so really? it just rolled. How early in the game did it happen? First five minutes. First five minutes? Yeah. Not fun. So we can do, like, some quick like soft tissue over it just to try and flush the little swing out. We've got a nice bucket of need to use it here. Cool. And then after tomorrow, start heating it. Okay. And then it should be... Cool. Should I, was gonna, I was going to go sauna like after this. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to sort of go on your side, just so that your foot's all that way. That way. Yeah. Oh. Get comfy. Yeah, this shit crush, put the flow on ice. If you fucking with me, raise your price. I put this flow on rice. Beef with me, then you play your life. Niggas get hit, Kimbo slice, and they'll roll that dice. It's Lord's director of music. Slake a life with the sling to those who think I could do it. And out the room, I was cussing, saying, keep me from Judas. Into the tomb, I'll be rapping that man, I got me through it. Let's fuck the gates, it's a Hello. Who he is. Hello. Good. Long punch. Yeah. Nah. Nah, it's just slightly smaller now. We grow back. See it grow back. Fortunately not, it's not sure. It's like under the top of it. Okay. But that's like a really big fault in our evolution there. But teeth just stop back. growing back. Yeah. It's just what's up with that. Hey. 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 So now I'm gonna go hit the sauna, do some breath work in there, get the blood flow going, help this ankle heal a little faster, and then yeah, I'm hibernating for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Unfortunately, you can't come with me. Okay, so a bit of a funky start to the week. Yeah, I don't know if you can notice here, but my eyes are a little infected. Yeah, a couple other guys on the team have some infections too, not on their eye, but just erring on the side of caution. We, um, you know, we're told to go home. Obviously, we're not trying to infect the rest of the team. But Mondays in the weight room are typically pretty light for us anyway. It's more just about testing. This is why I'm doing these jumps here. And, you know, seeing, you know, how body's feeling and dealt with the fatigue over the weekend. And then just some more maintenance stuff you know holds we're not it's nothing it's nothing too strenuous it's more about just getting the body ready for the week and we have a big week this week you know with two games so it's all about making sure you know we're fresh and ready for the games this is my first time vlogging with this team i didn't vlog at all last year so it's been really funny to see just people interacting with the camera just when it's left alone everyone just wants to come and investigate which i love obviously ain't nothing we just getting strong that's it just getting strong unbeatable
a little game me and Quinn like to play once we finish shooting instead of just reg getting up regular free throws and call it free throw goal. I think we play it a little differently to some other people. It's three for a swish, two if you hit the ring and one if you hit the backboard. You have to hit 21 on the dot, can't go over, otherwise you go back to 11 and if you hit 11, you go back to zero. If we have a tie, we just go one free throw each, first person to hit the rim, losers. You got any words for us heading into this week? Man, last week of the regular season. Getting up the playoffs. Just have fun, man. Let's get it done, man. man. London, that's what I got to say, man. Hey, that too. <laughs>
Now this is the next play, and I just hit a shot. So this is a bit of a modern basketball shot, but again, I just hit the last shot. Plenty of space. Knock it down. I always say a straight miss is a good miss, so you know I can't be too mad at that. This here, I'm only a little bit frustrated on my recovery. Like, see how my first few steps are back pedals. If I probably just turned and sprinted, I would have had a better chance. I thought I was going to be playing the one on two a little longer than I was. You know, Matt Morgan's able to get ahead of me, although I don't think it's really a foul. Yeah, had I gotten ahead and been in better defensive position, I probably could have challenged the shot better. But yeah, I don't know. I personally hate these kind of fouls. I feel like if you're a player that's established themselves as getting to the free throw line, you get a lot more calls than usual. So, you know, it comes with the territory. This play here, I remember it was a bit of a I haven't shot the ball in a while shot. Either way, Gabe came out really early. I haven't used my dribble yet, so I wanted to attack off his back, try and get him to screen off Nawaba a little bit. I probably just needed to do a better job of closing the gap and getting a little bit closer to Gabe. But the read here for me is as soon as I see him turn his hips, that's a pull up for me. You know, he's not. He, it's too late for him to recover to my shot. However, the smart play was probably to pass to Andrew, who's absolutely naked on the wing there but you know this is a shot i can make i'm confident in making it a straight miss is a good miss to me right here like i said i'm personally emphasizing my driving angles at the moment it's something i do really well one-on-one -on -one, not so much in a game but here i do a good job catch rip right away attack mo see how i'm not going east to west i'm going right at him there's not much space between us and even on that last dribble i take another dribble and get into him that allows me to get past him and sam for an easy open finish. Now on here on this play, obviously on the scout they have me as a shooter. So on my catch, you can see you can see Connor's concerned about my shot. We talk about attacking the back on offense. So I go out the way he's closed out. Look at how he has to turn all the way around. Essentially, he's out of the play. I'm not even thinking about him anymore. Um, yeah, so good drive. Just, you know, smoke the layup. Now on this play, I think I should have had a little bit more patience. Allow the stagger screen to come. See how I go before they've even set it. This means Teo, you know, has to set an awkward screen and that can open him up to an offensive foul. Nonetheless, Saquon does a good job of recognizing that Sharma's come out early and slips. That allows me to now attack Sharma. So again, I'm not thinking about Jordan. It's one-on-one -on -one with me and Josh. And here, this is a bread and butter read if, you, if you're a good shooter. Pretty sure this is not what the scout says, but for whatever reason, Kareem decides to go underneath the screen. See that? Lots of space. He's in the paint. He hasn't even recovered. So, you know, it's a no-brainer. 